All right, choir. Um, so today we are going to look at how do you sing this module seven song, um, and we're going to be using a solfege to understand it. Our do re mi fa so la ti do. Those are our solfege, and we're going to be looking at the specific notes in module seven song. So let's take a look at where our notes are where our solfege is. Okay, you need to know where it is at. It's not in module seven. It was back in module five. Module five was where we started to learn about the solfege. And you have in here a resource that will help you out with all of our solfege. Okay, this one right here on the uh, front of it, this is great. The first page on this handout, this is what we want to know about because this is do to do. Um, I like to have these in a separate pop-out window so that I'm not getting confused with anything else. Okay, it's showing us our different hand signs and what the solfege is here. Um, now we also want to know, um, here is solfege for this one. This is solfege where we are in the key of C and there is no sharps or flats in our key signature, um, which is how the module seven song is. So Do is on our middle C, the ledger line below the staff, and uh, Re would be on the space below the staff. Mi is on the bottom line of the staff. We have Fa on the first space of the staff, So on the second line, La on the second space of the staff. And that's all the notes that we have for our module seven song, okay? What you wanna know is these are steps away from each other and it outlines our major scale for um, for music, okay? In music, we have major scales, minor scales, and other modes. We learn first our major scale, then we learn next our minor scales. There are three scales from our minor modes. Um, and then we learn, uh, if you get really advanced with everything, then we have different modes, okay? Um, but when we do this, we base everything off of Do, the major scale Do to Do. So hopefully you can hear. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. And that is our scale that we base all of our notes off of. So let's take a look at our song. Okay. I have already gone through the song and I've analyzed it with all of our rhythms. And for now, we're looking at all of our pitches. Okay, so we start on the me and then we have red, then me, and then do. Um, and we want to be able to hear those pitches and sing uh, the entire song. So I'm going to go to Band Lab to be able to help me out with that. So here we have our module seven song. Um, we want to record it. We open it in the mix editor. Okay, and you're going to see several options here. Um, if you are an unchanged male voice, uh, where you're still singing higher pitches, then you want to be up here with um, this one where it says choir 80 beats per minute. Um, if you have a changed male voice, then go ahead and uh, you'll unmute this one with the guitar and you'll be singing down here with this one, okay? Uh, mine is a changed male voice, so I will be singing down here where the guitar is. The important thing is we want it to be in the range where your voice can reach the notes. Um, so this is going to be our practice. Um, I know exactly which notes are uh, being played now. This is my practice track, um, and now I need to be able to sing my solfege to that. Now, every time you sing solfege, Every single time you sing solfege, you want to be using your hand signs. Okay, so here we go with the hand signs. Um, do, re, mi. Uh, the, that's the first, um, the first four measures that you sing. So that's measures five, six, seven, and eight. Measures one through four are right here. So here we go with the first measure. One, two, three, 
for a second measure, two, three, four, third measure, two, three, four. I get ready to sing here and I breathe on beat four. <sighs> mi, re, mi, do, mi, re, mi, do. And when I'm practicing, don't go any further than that. Okay, I've practiced measures one through four. I want to do that again. Make sure I have it really, really well learned. Okay, you do it again. I'm not going to show you this here. That was all right for um, demonstration purposes, but for you, go ahead and do it again. Um, do it about five times, four times uh, to really get it into your body. Make sure that it's four times that are correct. Okay, um, then let's take a look at measures nine through the end. So this is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 you sing, and then measure 15 is a rest. When I am singing this, I need to start it at measure eight right here on the uh, practice track. And because when I press play, it's not going to give me any sort of warning for when it's starting. So I want to start one measure before and I breathe on once again, beat four. So here we go four beats, and then I come in on measure nine. Um, if you're taking a look at this, so measure eight is right there. So in this little rectangle, that is measure eight. So the start of measure eight is where this line is. That's right where beat one of measure eight happens. Each of these other little lines that hopefully you see in band lab um, are another beat. So there are one, two, three, four beats here, and then measure nine starts one, two, three, four beats there. That's what you're seeing inside of Bandlab. So starting right here on measure eight to give ourselves four beats before we start to sing on measure nine. One, two, three, four. Mi, re, mi, fa, mi, re, mi, mi. Off, two, three, four. But before we close up this lecture, let's take a look at our rhythms here. Okay, I want to make sure everyone understands all of these rhythms. So right here we have four measures of rest. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. And then you start to sing. We have one beat here, two beats here, one beat here, then four beats here. And the way I count it is one, two, four, one. Okay, and notice my voice is keeping a consistent beat. It needs to stay the same, and you need to be with the beat as well. Okay, so those are those rhythms. That same rhythm happens over and over and over again. So here's another example. One, two, four, one. Another example. One, two, four, one. And as much as possible, keep your voice fluid and one beat flowing into the next. Okay? Um, and then let's take a look here at the very last note that you would be singing. This one is four beats plus four beats. This is how you count it out. One. Okay, that's a set, two sets of four beats. That's that rhythm there. Okay, and you notice when I was singing, I was making sure that I was keeping it all within those rhythms. The beat is what keeps you together with the music. Okay, so you practice with this guitar um, in rhythm first. Um, and then you might actually practice on your own for a little bit with nothing helping you out. And then um, and then we will show recording in another lecture. All right, this has been Mr. McNeil with the choir's version of the module seven song, um, lecture one. Remember, be better than you were yesterday.